everyone, it's Emily Klein, Bright House varsity reporter here, reporting live at the Spruce Creek Varsity Boys basketball game against Sanford Seminoles. now and we are winning it is 27 to 22 so I'm here with Creek's biggest cheerleader right now what's your name Janiah Giddens hi Janiah so what has it been like being a cheerleader for this big crowd tonight it feels like the whole crowd is and the team is just depending on me to help the team do better and, and to win well thank you very much and you've been doing such a good job out there thank you <laughs> thank you right now. Yeah. Uh, Seminole just scored one more point which puts them at 53 to 52 with still 13.5 seconds left in the game. Let's see who comes out on top. Number one is going in for a free throw. He's got two of them. All right this could very well be the most intense Spruce Creek game I have been to in a while. six seconds of overtime and it is very close just as it was during the regular game. We are at 56 and they are at 55. It'll be interesting to see who comes out on top with this one. 20 seconds left, what's gonna happen? So we are about to go into the second overtime. Another four minute game will be played. We are now tied at 57. Let's see how this round turns out. <laughs> Last 30 seconds. It is now tied 65 to 65. 10 seconds left. How are they gonna get the ball to the hoop? team out here to support the basketball team? Uh, we we're just trying to come out here and uh, give the basketball team some energy and get a good win for the, the school. Thank you so much. All right, so they also acted a little bit like the cheerleaders tonight. So you guys were doing the spirit fingers out here. So uh, what was that like? The spirit fingers? Yeah. Okay. Spirit fingers! here at Spruce Creek. It left everybody on the edge of their seats. With that, I'm Emily Klein, Bright House Varsity Reporter, signing off.